Alright everybody, welcome back. It is your pal Al, and today we're continuing on playing Resident Evil 4. Uh, this is part 10 in the series, and I'm still on chapter 5 at the moment. Alright, forgive me, you gotta get some stuff situated here. Um, right now, we came back to this area because there is a spinal challenge where they said there was a strong dog that like needed to be put down. Come on. Hey. So we're we're looking for this dog. Um there was an icon on this like right on the house, so we came here, but so far I haven't seen anything. Good news is though, earlier we were here <clears throat> when Chief Mendez threw us up against the wall, but we couldn't get up in the attic, but now that we have Ashley, we can. Nice. Yellow herb. Uh, Village Records Volume 2. All the men cheered when they heard the boat as it raced across the surface of the water. That magnificent oil will surely help us. Uh, the ironworks was only built a year ago, but has already merged well with the village. Our sickles and knives shine like never before. The two fish we got from the deal... Wait. We got the deal will eat most anything and are breeding well. Fish farms going better, yada yada. During the day, I teach literacy and mathematics to the children. Every evening, I dine with a single family to hear their grievances and gossip. Uh, since I opened the village, this is like the notes from a strange group of black robed people descended upon the village from the castle, raised an ominous flag after preaching salvation and forgiveness. They injected us with something they claimed to cure us of madness. <clears throat> you guys can pause that if you want. I like skimmed over it quick, but. The main thing was they got injected with something from these people with black robes. Father's portrait. Is that what Mendez used to look like? I think that's what like Chief Mendez used to look like before he was injected with the black liquid. This is workers in the mines. Factory, long awaited ironworks. There we go, some resources. Nice. <clears throat> Needed those. Ooh, what's back here? There's gotta be something good back here, right? Village Records, Volume 1. The Elder entrusted the village to me today. That I can learn my duties. There's still many words I cannot write. This young boy lives in the cabin. It's his grandfather. The mother was called up to heaven. His grandfather doesn't talk much. You guys can read this if you want. Hmm. You know what to do. It was a terrible night. Everyone stood around the cabin and watched as it burned to the ground. The boy looked on without saying a word. Even as dawn broke, he didn't move a muscle. The next day, he was gone. Antique camera. Nice, sell that. The Navarro family. Navarro family. Navarro, Navarro. Hmm, don't know. I don't think there's a lot. Like, there's nothing else up here. I'm not. Unless we miss something. So, apparently, there was just some loot up here. Oh, wait, that's how you go down. Hold on. <laughs> that owl keeps freaking me out. Huh, I was... Yeah, see, look, a savage mutt. I mean, this is the place that it says to go, and it's the only place in the house we haven't been. I don't know. Unless we miss something. Interesting. Well... We'll give it another once over here. Huh, I was really expecting to trigger something, but nothing so far. Whoa, there we go. Can he get through the fence? Oh, let's go get him. 
Oh, where is he going? He's running off. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. That thing had glowing red eyes. Village Chief's Manor. Hmm. I'm trying to be um, cautious here. But it'd be really nice to fight him in this area because it's very confined. <clears throat> oh. What, did he jump the gate? Interesting. Alright, let's go get him. Leon, you're going to have to suck it up, bro. Oh, I heard him. Did you hear him? Spread out. Here we go. Hang on. Hi there. Oh. Oh, I missed. You're in the way. Target neutralized. Four shots. Wow, he took four shots from this rifle. I shot five times, missed him once, but that's pretty good. Yeah, he was tough. Well, the good news is, though, I can turn that in, get more spinels. And now that I have Ashley... Wait. I hear him, but I don't see him. Did we check this? Yeah, we did. We already cleared this out. I remember in the originals, if you still had stuff that you could get in an area, it would either turn red or blue. Red is in, like, there's still stuff to be found. Blue is in, it's all good. They don't do that in this game. But they do uh, have a system where they'll they'll show you if you forgot something. Let's go up here. I want to find these guys that are chanting. Oh, here we go. If I can do this silently, all the better. Oh, nice. I don't know how that guy didn't see the flashlight, but. I don't think there's anybody downstairs. There's a guy coming down the walkway. If I can shoot him while up here, all the better. Uh, then again, I might be better off hopping down. Oh, Ashley. Dang it, he saw her. Now I gotta go out there. Oh, no. Whoa. Well, that didn't work out. So, I was wanting to get up behind him and just knife him, but for some reason, he just slashed at him. Roadhouse. Oh, man. Wow. Some of these guys are really tanky. Gunpowder. I'll take it. Definitely use some gunpowder. There we go. The yellow herbs are nice because anytime you use a yellow herb, it not just heals you, but it increases the amount of health on your health bar. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I appreciate are those eggs. Those eggs are a lifesaver. Especially like when you're getting used to the game, the controls. Huge lifesaver. Nice, more resources. This is like the world's um, least safe save zone. <laughs> it's like surrounded by people that want to kick my ass. Oh, homie just about ate a bullet. Let's see if I can get him silently. I'm trying to conserve as many bullets as I can. 
All right, what do you think? Come on. Okay. I'm trying to keep her out of sight. There you go. Last thing I want is her between me and the bad guys. Sounds like there's two or three of them to my left, at least one to my right, maybe one straight ahead of me. So I know there's at least three, maybe four of them. So I'm trying to be quiet as long as I can. Out of the way. Roadhouse. Yeah, there is. There's a couple of them to my right. So there's at least five of them. Nice. Oh, there's one of those dudes with the bull head. Oh, shoot. Nice. Man, this rifle is so clutch. This thing is so money. This thing is a sniper's dream. I'll be interested to see what other rifles and guns they have in this game. Oh, I know this one is more focused on action. I know like like Village, for example, Resident Evil Village was an awesome game. It was first person shooter, but it was more focused on like action whereas like Resident Evil 7, I know like they got complaints because people said it was just like too scary. And like I don't think I love RE7, but yeah, it was terrifying. Let's go. Oh. Okay. Can they come in here? I hear a guy above me. Yeah, this would be a good place to save real quick. A job well done deserves payment in kind. What can I interest you in? Nice. The spinels will help. All right, let's sell this camera. Sell this Your necklace. Won't do you much good in the grave. Like, part of me wants to hold on to it to see if I can get more money out of it, but. Man, 36.4, that's pretty decent. Do I have. I bet if I change out the green for the purple, I can get quite a bit more, because then I'll get the multiplier. There we go, that's another 10 grand. And then this one. The yellow stones are worth a lot more than the blue and the red. So if I put two yellows in, yeah, 22,800. If I put a blue in with yellow, 17,6. Blue and red, 13,2. So they get the absolute most bang for my buck. I want to do two yellow. Yeah, it's 22,8. Wow, that's crazy how much more money you get for the yellow stones. That's a lot. It's a big difference. Welcome. Camera. Yeah. Necklace. I might just hold on to the the bangle for a while. <clears throat> just seeing if there's anything else I need to sell. I'll pay a pretty penny for that. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to the bracelet for a little bit, see if If you want a fighting chance out there, you best tune up your kit. Got a selection of good comeback any time. Yeah, well, I want to go upstairs. I want to see who's up here. This guy's been... Is there anything else? Up? Oh, yeah, there is. There's some more goodies up there, so... Oh, there he is. Pitchfork Joey. Nighty-night. Ooh, gunpowder. That is so money right now. That is so clutch. You can just feel the game building towards something. Here we go. Here we go. Old Wayshire Key. What is that? Antique pipe. Let's go. Sell that baby. Make some money. Just got all kinds of cash. I got more. I got a pipe for you. 
Welcome. Well then, what can I do you for? Seven thousand. Let's Thank do it. <clears throat> Man, I just. Part of me wants to hang on to this. Part of me wants to sell it. I don't. I don't want to sell both my yellow. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. We're doing really good. I kind of want to make some more ammo though. Uh, flash grenade would be good too though. But I, I got four of them. You know. Um, I'm not really low on anything. It's just kind of like. I'm actually really. Killed now. <laughs> I am a little low on rifle rounds. That's the one thing I wish I had more of. But only because I've been using this rifle so much. Alright. Saved it again because that's what I do. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, I mean. I think this is the only way we can go. Uh oh, here they come. Missing Senorita. Senorita has a name and it's Ashley. You are? Name's Luis. Encantado. Great. We all have names. Now then. Who are you? And what are you doing here? Very good questions, unfortunately. Uh, hide. Now. In that case. Here! Help me. Ashley, quick! Over here. This ought to be interesting. He's got like an old German Ruger. Against two of us. Oh, and that's not for yet. This is made up of monsters. Nice. Um, what else is over here? Nice. Here's some board. This will help. Is there any more? Well, at least we only got our focus on. Well, no, we've... Oh, man. There we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Oh. oh no. I missed the prompt. Sorry, must have slipped. Oh, he's changing. Knife broke. Out of the way. Nice. Man, I could really use some more boards right about now. They're all like coming through the same two windows. Nice. Oh, I'm trying to get the window. Oh, all right. It keeps wanting to pick up these resources. Oh, well, I'm gonna craft some rifle ammo or something there. Now maybe it'll let me hit the window. Ah. Course, course.
There we go. So I kept one. I, uh, I kept wanting to like board up this window and it kept wanting to pick up stuff on the ground. There we go. We got it all taken care of though. Man. One, two punch. Dang, there's a lot. Oh, those are going to come in handy. Here we go. I think all right, we're, we're good. all boarded up now, all three of them. He didn't even flinch. I literally have all three windows boarded up down here. Uh-oh. Oh, of course. Oh. Let's top our health off. I mean, I got six frag grenades and four flashbangs. Here, create a little room so I don't have another incident near the window. Yeah, I don't have any gunpowder. Dang it. I need some gunpowder. Alright, let's go upstairs. If I can funnel them on the stairs. Hey, you might need some company. Oh, look at that. Tin gunpowder. Hell yes. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's a triple triple. Uh oh. Oh man, those resources. I need to use this gunpowder so I can pick it up. There you go, rifle ammo. That would be. Uh, yeah. There's gonna be. A, there's a lot of them. Should I? Should I do the correct thing? I mean, I got five, and we're gonna be overrun here in a second. These might come in handy. Watch it, Grandma. Oh, what the hell, dude? Not cool. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting overrun. This isn't good. Oh no! Oh, there's too. Oh, I, that was an accident. There's too many of them. Too many of them. Oh, not good. <laughs> there we go. Oh crap. Oh, back up, back up. I need some space. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Alright. I'm not messing around anymore. Yeah, I'm not screwing with them anymore. I'm getting the shotgun out. Oh no! Move! Yeah, saw that coming. Oh, run away, run away! Alright. I've got a bunch of grenades. I might might have to pull one out here. This is gonna be bright. There we go. Leon, this way, hurry. Oh, thank God. Ashley, is this the first time you've coughed on blood like this? 
You want to start explaining? The cough, the blood, is caused by something called a plaga. Okay. You saw those people, right? But you have the same thing inside you. The same thing that made them like that. This, what you're experiencing, these symptoms. They're only the beginning. I don't want to become like them. You are, well, lucky. You see, at this early stage, the parasite, the plaga, it is possible to remove it with the surgical procedure. And all you need is some know-how. And oh, yeah, the right equipment. Wait, you two? No worries. See, I have a plan. But you're going to have to trust me. Great, we're partners then. Hey, why are you... No time for any questions. The clock is ticking. Why are you helping us? Because it makes me feel better. Let's leave it at that. I will contact you later. I don't trust him. I like him. I want to like him. But I don't trust him. Oh my gosh. That was super fun. They really did that really well. Let's see. 55 minutes, zero deaths. You know what? That, like, barn fight or whatever that was, was super fun. Hey, appreciate everyone for joining me today. Love you guys. You're Pal Al, and I'll see you in the next video.